kick pass, the X pass. Again, a lot of people have problems with this and they do it slightly wrong. Doing it in a heavy bag and then progressing to a real human being is a really useful way to make sure you're doing a couple of the things correctly. Basically, the kick pass is when I've got one of my legs in between his legs. This can be like a really sloppy half guard. It can be sort of an incipient de la Hiva with everything not quite sunk. Basically, I'm here and I need to move my foot from here to here. But that movement is a lot harder to do than you might think, especially against a savvy opponent. So, one hand on the hips, or one, sorry, one hand on the knee, the other hand either on the hips or in the center of the chest. I've seen both ways, I use both ways, usually it's whatever I can get. Or here, that's on the heavy bag. Then I'm going to kick the leg straight back. Big mistake people do here is they try to do a, a straight back kick. It's not. This is like a tiger sweeps its tail. It's a straight swinging leg backwards. From here, I do the Toriando footwork going forward into knee mount. So, remember, a lot of weight goes into that hand. I am not doing this. That's crap, that won't work. I want to put a ton of weight on him. That's what makes this foot light. So a ton of weight on him, or on the hip, or on the chest. The other hand monitors this leg as best as I can. And I'm going to kick back. See, because I've got weight on him, I can stay in this balanced position. Now, it's just like I did a Toriando pass. We're here, forward to the knee mount. Kick pass, X pass, super useful drilling.